But while I live a conscious life, all the time a myth is played in the unconscious. A myth that extends over centuries. Archetypal ideas, a stream of archetypal ideas that goes on through one individual, through the centuries, uh, like a continuous stream. And that comes then to the daylight in the great movements, say in, in political movements or in uh, spiritual movements. For instance, in the time before Reformation, people dreamt of the great change. And that's the reason why uh, such great transformations could be predicted, would be able to predict it. For instance, I have predicted the Nazi rising in Germany uh, through the observation of my German patients. They had dreams in which the whole thing was anticipated. Uh, and, and with considerable detail, I uh, could say the year, in the year 1919, I was sure that something was threatening in Germany, something very big and very catastrophic. Mm -hmm. And I only knew it through the, through the observation of the, of, of, the, of the unconscious. When you observe the world, you see people, you see houses, you see the sky, uh, you see tangible objects. But when you observe yourself within, you see moving images, a world of images, uh, generally known as fantasies. Yet, these uh, fantasies are facts. You see, it is a fact that a man has such and such a fantasy. And it is such a tangible fact, for instance, that when a man has a certain fantasy, uh, another man may lose his life. Or uh, a bridge is built. These houses were all fantasies. Everything you do here, all That's of right. houses, everything was fantasy to begin with. And fantasy has a proper reality. It is, that is not to be forgotten. Fantasy is not nothing. It is, of course, not a tangible object, but it is a fact, nevertheless. It is, uh, see, a form of energy. Oh, despite the fact we can't measure it. It is a manifestation of something. And when you observe the stream of images within, you observe an aspect of the world. The man who is going by the external world, by the influences of the external world, say society or perceptions, sense perceptions, thinks that he, he is more valid, you know, because this is valid, this is real. And the man who goes by the subjective factor is not valid because subjective factor is nothing. Yeah. No, that man is just as well based because he is based bases himself upon uh, the world from within. And so he is quite right, even if he says, oh, there's nothing but my fantasy, you know. And of course, that is the introvert. And that's the introvert is always afraid of, of the external world. He, he, he will be apologetic about it. He will say, of course, yes, I know, it's only my fantasies. And, and as the world in general, particularly America, is extroverted like hell, <laughs> uh, the, the, the introvert has no place uh, because he doesn't know that he beholds the world from within. Nowadays, we are not threatened by uh, elementary catastrophes. There is no such thing uh, as an age bomb. That is all man's doing. We are the great danger. The psyche is the great danger. What if something goes wrong with the psyche? It is demonstrated to us in our days what what the power of the psyche is of man, how important it is to know something about it, but we know nothing about it.